the Supreme Court is being asked if women should be forced to sign up to be on the list of people who are forced to go to war if the president wants to send them. Right now, only men are forced to be on the list, and some lawyers are saying that's not fair. We could find out as early as Monday whether the Supreme Court will make a decision on that. I have a lot of issues with the thought of being drafted. Um, you know, I don't want to go to war or like shoot anybody. But first and foremost, I don't want to wear my hair in a slicked back ponytail. It doesn't look good. Um, I hate the thought of it at, altogether. Like, let me let me just show you so you understand. I can't go to war. That's for certain. I think men are better than women. She's kidding. No, I'm not. They provide for us, and we must obey them because they are our masters. I don't know who else saw this news the other day, but at the end of the holiday break, Congress will consider a piece of legislation that includes an amendment that would require women to sign up for the selective service, the military draft. This is neoliberal feminism in action. This is what gender equality looks like within the context of capitalist white supremacy. And this is not a good thing. There is nothing to celebrate when the program that compels people to die for our country expands to include women. There is nothing feminist about requiring people to aid in the invasion of sovereign countries and the killing of innocent people. And not to mention the incredible amounts of patriarchal violence that comes along with that. SA is a tool of war. But what's fucked up is that if this amendment passes, Congress people and Biden and the mainstream media will talk about it as if it's a win for feminism. As if the inclusion of women in the military draft is a step towards true gender equality. And how all that is a sign of how truly progressive we are as a country. And that's again because they are neoliberal. Their feminism is neoliberal. And I've explained this before, but neoliberalism refers to values and goals that promote the growth of free market capitalism. And the military, the draft, war, they're all parts of capitalism. In order to ensure continued growth in production, capitalism must secure control of other territories that have the resources that we need. A prime example of this was the war in Iraq. The US lied about WMDs so that we had cause to invade the region to get the oil that we so desperately needed. So if war is a part of capitalism and neoliberalism seeks to grow and sustain capitalism, then neoliberalism must support war. And neoliberal feminism is there to ensure that people of all genders have the equal opportunity to participate in all of that. And this also helps to make it so that war or any other endeavor that supports capitalism is seen as progressive as woke, instead of the truly atrocious and oppressive things that they are. A truly revolutionary and liberatory feminism does not support things like this. We have to recognize the connections between patriarchy and capitalism and imperialism, and how the powers that be have co-opted feminism in order to support that. Here's some further reading on some of the topics that I touched upon. I also have videos across my page that talk about this stuff more. Oh, what a time to be fat and mentally ill, am I right? Oh, so everybody wants to get mad about how women can be drafted to the army now. Hold on. Guys, let me get something fucking straight with you jackasses. And TikTok, don't delete this because it really needs to be heard, bro. Like, let me point something out to y'all. If you can be in a combat role in the military, you can get fucking drafted. Y'all are all screaming, oh, equality, equality, equality. Yeah, you scream equality until, you know, you put your hands on a man and that man ends up beating the shit out of you because, well, you put your fucking hands on him. You scream equality until, you know, you sign up for combat roles and then realize that women can get drafted after that, you jackasses. What do you think is going to happen? Let's get real about it. Like, let's really get real about this shit because I'm so sick and tired of this shit. Like, the double standard is real. And it's not for fucking men. It's not for men. It's not. Because, like I said, you scream equality until y'all put your fucking hands on a man. And then he ends up beating the ever-loving dog shit out of somebody because, well, let's be honest, you put your fucking hands on him. You know the saying, you put yourself in a man's place, you're going to get treated like a fucking man? While this feminism shit that y'all screaming, that's what fucking happens. You put yourself in a man's place and you're going to get treated like a fucking man. It's plain and simple. It's really not that fucking difficult to understand. And that's what I don't understand about society is the fact that y'all are so screwed up and so fucking misconformed and so fucking brainwashed that none of y'all can fucking see it. And it's funny to me because I sit here and I laugh about it all the damn time. That's all. Rant's over.